Chamber Sporting Kansas City. Frank, if you could start with your thoughts <coughs> on the match. You know, I mean, <clears throat> obviously in the end, it's a great feeling. Uh, give a lot of credit to, to our players to come back, but uh, being down, obviously, in the match um, and showed a lot of character. Um, and it was a great win against a very good team. Um, and I think uh, games like this really show uh, the character of a team. And I keep telling these guys, you know, we stick together as a team. Because no one knows and understands the work that they put in. We see it every day, and it's about doing something special. You know, we have a good group of players. I believe we have a lot of talent on the team. And uh, anyway, I don't want to go too much into it, but obviously, great win. And uh, now we got to uh, have a little bit of a break and uh, another busy schedule. But fantastic win in front of home. Uh, four points in the last two games against uh, two of the top teams. Uh, it was uh, fantastic. One. Can you talk about how the Red Terror played into it? Sometimes, uh, you know, teams get uh, uh, a red card and they play shorthanded and, you know, they seem to uh, do better at times. Uh, but I still felt that uh, we had a very good second half. Uh, we dominated possession uh, in the game. Uh, for sure it did helped a little bit that uh, with the red card, but obviously our ability now uh, to be patient, move the ball, uh, was a key because they dropped back in their block of eight with one on top. They were looking to hit us on a break. And I think that we were very organized. Tactically, we were very smart, uh, patient in our buildup uh, against a very good defensive team. Uh, and uh, uh, I think our ability to move the ball played into it, you know, and I think exposed the man down that they had. You know, I think that we played as a team and not as individuals and we were patient. And I think uh, we took advantage of uh, uh, them being a man down. We created chances, we put the game away and, uh, you know, great victory. But I give credit to the players because sometimes, you know, you have that advantage and you play as uh, very individualistic and not as a team. And I thought that we stuck to a plan and we were very good with the ball. James? What would you say was the biggest difference no, I thought we started well in the game, and I thought that we lost momentum once Arne came out of the game. Uh, I thought that we were, uh, uh, it took us some time to adjust because you, anytime you bring a new player, and uh, I mean, Jalil is not new there, but obviously now the last couple games with uh, Arne <clears throat> playing with, uh, with Austin in that position, and you know, his leadership, and he controls the back line, and I, I, th I think when he came out, we gave up that fast goal, didn't track the runners, and I thought we lost momentum a little bit. Our, our wide players, when you know KC was playing down on one side, their weak side, uh, weak side guys were not tucking in. Uh, and uh, I think we lost a little bit of momentum. And in the second half, I think we had a, it's an opportunity for our team to regroup and talk about certain things, how we wanted to approach the game the second half. And we came out with a very good attitude right from the start. Uh, and we pushed the game 45 minutes, and we scored two goals against a very good team, defensive team. Frank, how much of the uh, reason the guys won is because the guys were able to take advantage of Kansas City's mistakes? That's the key in any game, no? One team makes mistakes, the ability to capitalize is the key. I think that, uh, you know, we knew going into it that this was going to be a difficult match, a match that, you know, just like the same one, when you get your opportunities, you, gotta, you have to put them away. And again, we started the game well, we created opportunities, and, you know, we didn't take advantage early on. So, I mean, obviously a good team is going to capitalize on the other team's mistakes. You have to limit your mistakes, and if you do, you know, uh, you put yourself in a position to win. Uh, we took advantage of that uh, today, but that's, that's in every game, you know. One team is going to make mistakes. Now it's uh, the quality and the ability of the other team to capitalize, and if you don't, then you always, for me, you have to keep, keep a clean sheet. I mean, our focus in every game is to defend very well as a team, you know, and... Uh, not to give up uh, any goals. And when we do that, regardless, you always have an opportunity to win with the players we have. I'm going to take two more. We're going to go Seth and Jack. Was there any concern offensively going into halftime, having not been able to you know, get a shot at heart? No. Jack? You beat, are you tied to uh, one conference leader on Wednesday? You beat one tonight. What kind of statement does that make for you guys? No, I mean, I just think for us, we just knew that, you know, you can't underestimate any opponent uh, in our league, you know, uh, because uh, 
sometimes regardless of the record, you know, I mean, obviously the last two teams we've played were are very good teams on a consistent basis, not just this season. KC had a very good season last year. Salt Lake has been one of the top teams in the league the last few years. So, uh, you know, they're up there on the top for a reason, and our ability for us the whole week of focus in training was, number one, to stay very compact as a team, uh, uh, especially in transition, because they're very direct, and then when they get you in the open space and they're able to use their athleticism, that's when they get you in, pro in, in, in trouble. So our ability to transition, stay compact in both phases of the game, offensive phase and defensive, because when we... In the offensive phase, we're compact. Now we're able to move the ball quick. And we want to be a team that possesses the ball. Uh, um, and uh, at times when we do that well, you can see the difference. And then at times when we force the ball and we turnovers, and then you lose momentum. Uh, so it's still a long season. Yeah, you know, really right now, doesn't mean anything. I mean, doesn't mean anything. Not in that statement because it is a long season. It's, we have to see where we are in the end. Obviously, it's. It's a very good feeling that you, you beat a team like this, you know, first place in the Eastern Conference. So it gives you a lot of confidence, you know, to the players, knowing that the work that you put in, you know, uh, and the effort that you put in in training and in games, uh, you get results from it. So for sure you get confidence from it. But now, you know, in the end, we're always, you know, you have to stay even keel because it is a long season and now, uh, we have to enjoy this moment, but regroup and get ready for the next match in Portland.